welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Aquari. I'm the main face of this channel that you will be seeing, although I do have a few supporters behind the scenes. Now, if you're interested in seeing our animal loving journey in order to open up our own animal rescue center, be sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like each of our videos. And be sure to stick around from here on out for all of the other videos. And in the future, we will have more videos pertaining to opening the Animal Rescue Center. Now, while we do not have this Animal Rescue Center open at the time being, we do have some animal-related organization links down in the description of every single video that I post and in the About page of the YouTube channel itself. So be sure to check those out to donate to on your free time or just whenever you want to. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how you can help animals from going extinct. I did have a video on this channel a long time ago that I posted that is very similar, but I'm going to cover this once more um, just because times have changed within the last year or so. So I'm just going to include this one a little bit differently. So let's cover number one. So you can donate your hard-earned money to animal-related organizations that help save endangered animals. Now I already do this with the links down in the description and the about page of the YouTube channel for you to actually look into and donate to. But if you're gonna do your own research, be sure you look into each one specifically just so that way you know it's the right fit for you to be donating to if you can't do any of the other things that I will list in this video. So number two is learning about endangered species and educating on your own. So this could be perceived in different ways. So by educating yourself and spreading it on social media for others to see or just educating yourself and educating your peers uh, whether that be people you know personally, like family members, uh, just educating people on what the endangered species are and how you can help in any sort of way. The third one is if you live near wildlife or if you are aware of where wildlife is inhabiting, uh, drive a bit slower because people drive so fast, they're in such a hurry to get to places that they're not really cautious about running into animals and killing them on impact because of them driving so fast. So uh, this can cause species to actually go endangered from many people doing this. Like you say, um, well, Maybe once or twice won't make a species endangered. Well, in your case, maybe not. But if many people are doing it with the same mindset as you, yes, that will happen. And animal species will be endangered because of that. Now, some birds are not very uh, good at telling what windows are. They can see that as an opening and go uh, flying really fast into a window and kill themselves on impact, which is quite sad. So what you can do is purchase some stickers for the windows for the bird collision. So that way when they see it, they know, oh, that's a window. I'm not gonna go near that. So that way I am safe, pretty much. So that will help. Also in this sense, don't let your cat outside because cats are an invasive species that kill for fun when they are indoor and outdoor. They don't need to be killing outside when they have food on the inside and they know this, so they will go around and kill these birds and the birds will become extinct if they just kept on doing this. Uh, so they are endangered right now. So just when you take your cat outside, be sure to monitor the cat. Of course, they live a happier life when they're outside, but if you monitor them and they have a good life outside, I don't see the problem. And plus you can have a cat patio, like a catio, and they can be outside too. They just love looking outside and being outside. 
but there are different ways that you can do that. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. So this can help because we don't, we wouldn't have so much pollution. So reusing like grocery bags for different things. And then once you're done with the grocery bags, you can return them to the grocery store and they will reuse them themselves. Um, you can use reusable um, grocery bags. That will help. If, as long as you don't throw them away and you use them, they will help. Um, just look into that, how you can reduce, reuse, and recycle in your specific area so that way you can help wildlife and how that would specifically benefit and impact your specific area. So the next one is learning about safe plants in your area. So make sure you're not planting in any garden that you have invasive species to your area because having invasive species that you plant that aren't necessarily supposed to be there but they're there uh, can cause some damages and you want to make sure you avoid that and this goes along with learning about what plants are invasive and non-invasive so a good example of this is the american dream home with this specific sort of grass so grass can be nice it can look nice but is it beneficial to wildlife no it's not uh, I saw a TikTok the other day, and I probably won't be able to find it, but instead of grass, this guy grew clovers, which is very beneficial to wildlife, and it looks nice, and stepping on it won't hurt your feet. Well, I think it looks nice in my opinion, and planting for wildlife to thrive is the best option anyway. But of course, if you can keep your area, your house around your area uh, as wildlife taken over as possible, that's great too. So what you can do for the next one is volunteer your own time to these animal organizations where they actually are stationed and just volunteer your own time into these animal organizations. You can either do this at your local animal shelter, which not necessarily would help the endangered animals, but you are doing your part by helping your local animals if you do not have any wildlife organizations that you can help. You can also, by doing your research and making sure you're supporting the right thing, you can actually volunteer your time at zoos that help with endangered species. There are volunteer programs that you can go into. Um, for me personally, the nearest zoo is like close to 50 miles. 50 to, believe, yeah, 50 to 60 miles away. So it's quite far, but um, I would do it if it was a lot closer, like every day. I would literally volunteer my time to help these endangered species. But please do your own research when you go into looking that and know that is the right organization that you want to be involved with. The next one could be look into different parks that you can help. This goes along with volunteering your own time. Um, if there are any wildlife parks near you that you want to be involved with and learn more about animals within their parks and yeah just volunteering your time you don't always have to be paid for these sort of things if you care about animals as much as i do the next one is knowing what had knowing what hazards are for wildlife in your personal area so this this could be an example for trash make sure your trash is locked up tight so that way there aren't any invasive species coming in and going through your trash which would hurt the environment that you live in the next one is research what you buy so that way you are sure that you are not buying from these black market animal 
producing um, companies that are poaching animals illegally or just illegally hunting these animals that are already endangered. Make sure you don't support them by doing your research on what uh, the company does and what research that you have come across about that company. And you want to be specifically careful about traveling and getting souvenirs from any place that could be related to uh, animal products, um, like actual things that come from animals that you get as souvenirs. So that way you're not supporting these companies from, I mean, thriving, like supporting them and helping them thrive even though that's something we don't want and this happens a lot with rhinos um, rhinos are poached because of their horns and in that sense they're killed so rhinos are already endangered so by doing your part and doing some research just a little extra research and not by pur purchasing these animal products you can help so much Next one is you want to avoid pesticides within your plants and any anything that you're growing because any wildlife that benefits from what you're growing but then you put pesticides in them, it can kill them and become even more endangered. So make sure just don't put any pesticides in what you're growing. The next one is your choice. 100% your choice. Eat less meat. Um, just don't eat as much meat or just don't eat any meat. Um, that's completely up to you. This is op completely optional. Um, I personally eat meat um, and I know that can be seen as hypocritical because how can you love animals and love animals so much but yet eat meat? And I completely understand where you're coming from with that and honestly, I do enjoy eating meat and eventually I do want to stop eating meat so um, I don't necessarily have an answer for that and I don't expect you to have an answer for that um, if you love animals as much as I do but yet eat meat I completely understand why so I just wanted to put that out there that's an option for you but uh, eventually I do want to stop eating meat but right now I'm not gonna do that because while being pregnant and having so many uh, things that I used to like to eat but now I can't because of this child uh, not liking it my uh, appetite for different things is so drastic so um, eventually yes I will stop eating meat that's my goal. The next one is sign petitions and protect wildlife in your area. So look up any petitions that you can sign or even if it requires a donation, if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> like I'm giving you permission or something. I'm not, just, it's, it's a, an idea that you can go and look into. So the next one is literally be a Karen about animals. If you hear anything in your area, see anything in your area, contact local authorities and be firm about it. Don't be like, hey, I heard this, um, whatever you wanna do. What you want to do instead of that is be like, I heard this and I want you to take action and what can I do to help and be in contact with you the entire time so that way I know what happens. And you don't want to be like mean to the cops, but you want to be firm and know that you are serious. Because um, if you are dismissive about it, they're not going to take it that seriously, but if you actually want to take action on it and be like, I am 100% sure that I heard this and I want to take action, what can I do to help kind of thing and uh, that will help your situation and the last one is helping animal or organizations by adopting an at-risk animal now what this means is not by actually adopting by taking it home you are adopting by supporting the animal financially 
so that way the people that are taking care of that animal can afford to properly take care of the animal so that way the animal uh, goes back to good health and you can research that on your own as well as the links in the description down below uh, they do have that option for a few of those links that I have in the description. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other ideas of what you can do in your community specifically and what you think should be included on this list that I did not include. So much appreciated if you do that. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and like each of our videos so that way we can open this animal rescue center. And I do have all of my research links down in the description below, so if you are interested in researching a little bit more, that's where those will be. And also the links for the animal related organizations will be in the description below, so that way you can go and look at that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video next week. Bye.